Once upon a time, there was a man who loved Nike sunglasses, and boy was there a great video for him on YouTube. All he had to do was stick around. Hello and welcome, I am Eyeglass Tyler. I wanna to talk to you about some Nike sunglasses, in particular, really good for men Nike sunglasses. And so ideally by the end of this video, after I go over kind of the ins and outs of the different frames, what to expect, what makes them unique, you'll have a better idea as to whether or not they are the right pair for you. So let's just jump into it. First up, we have the Rabid. This is a very straightforward wrap frame. I think for those of you looking for a kind of not aggressively sporty, but gives you coverage, doesn't look wild on your face, but performs and functions really well, very versatilely, I think this is a great option for you. This is the smaller version of the up next adrenaline. And so these are gonna share all of these features. It is incredibly lightweight. It doesn't have any grip to speak of on the nose nor on the temple. It does have a little bit of a textured temple tip, which might help a little bit with grip because it kind of helps to sort of wick moisture away a little bit. Uh, but overall, what you're going to rely on is tension. And this is very flexible. It does not have a spring hinge, but because of the nylon material, which is also very durable, by the way, it should be comfortable all day long by just hugging your face, essentially. It's using pressure to stay on rather than a rubbery material to grip, but it works really well. We've been selling this frame for a very long time, this and the adrenaline, and it doesn't get any complaints, honestly, when it comes to the frame being too loose or the frame falling off. You just have to make sure you get the right fit. And so we'll talk about sizing on this and on the adrenaline. But before we get into that, also understand that it's going to come in non-prescription with a good polycarbonate lens, which is a very lightweight material, very impact resistant, so very good for just about every activity. And it's available in a variety of different lens options, again, in non-prescription as are all of these. So I don't have to repeat that. That's gonna be the case with all of these frames. This is available in prescription, very prescription ready, but being a wrap frame, it can be a little more limited. So reach out to our opticians. We can help you know if it is right for your prescription. It has an SFW of 132, which is a pretty solid medium fit. Next up, we have the Adrenaline. And this, like I said, just like the Rabbit, is a very versatile, very good for just about any situation wrapped frame design. It is an eight base. It's gonna give you the coverage that you need, the protection, a really wide field of view thanks to that wrap design. Also very RXable. You can put a good range of prescriptions in here, uh, but still it is a bit limited. So you wanna reach out to our opticians for help for your specific prescription. This does use, I mean, it's all the same thing. I don't wanna repeat myself. It's the same thing as you got in the Rabbit, just a larger size. The SFW is 136, which lands it at a pretty solid medium to large fit. Next up, we have the Maverick RGE. Maybe it stands for Ridge. Maybe it stands for Ready Guy Enhance. I don't know, I just made that up off the top of my head. Uh, this is another good option for a good lightweight, everyday use, uh, general, and uh, the occasional activity. Uh, if you're a little more active and you don't have a specific sport, but you just like to get out there and uh, move around, this would be a good option for you. It is a six base. It is a part of this Maverick family. There is the original Maverick, which is more of an oversized lens. I'd say the RGE is a more everyday lens size and shape. And so this is not gonna look out of place really no matter what you're doing. It has a flatter temple, kind of a tapered temple design, which it actually would be good for helmet compatibility, also hat compatibility. It's gonna be nice to wear this with a hat for sure. It does have grip on the temple. It does have grip in the nose bridge. And this has a bit more of a unique nose bridge design that you can find on quite a few other Nike options uh, that is also unique in the market. On on the in the world of sunglasses, not many nose bridges are designed like this. Uh, in that it is very well ventilated, so it's going to help to minimize fogging. 
and it is more of a saddle bridge design, so it can lend itself to being more comfortable for all day wear. Now, in some of the other frames that they've done with this nose bridge design have been a little less comfortable unless you have the right nose bridge for it because it used a harder material, uh, but this is actually a softer rubber, so this is going to stay comfortable for longer, absolutely. Uh, and lots of grips, so this will definitely stay on your face. That six base design, the flatter lens design, will lend itself to a much wider range of prescriptions. So it is compatible for a very wide range of prescriptions, so keep that in mind. With an SFW of 139, this comes in at a solid large fit. Next up, we have the Brazen Boost. This is a part of the Brazen family, and I think lends itself probably a little more to those of you who are much more active. It is a flatter lens, so again, really good for a wider range of prescriptions. More of a low profile, kind of maybe even sleeper frame design. It doesn't come in with all of those aggressive features, uh, but it does have everything that you would expect out of a good sport frame. It has grip on the temple, it has grip on the nose, it has a unique nose bridge design that lends itself to being more compatible for a wider range of nose shapes. And so this might even be a bit better for those flatter nose bridges. Uh, it isn't the deepest lens in the world, but it does have a good amount of coverage. It has sort of this built in side shield design, which is going to give you that wrap protection without the downside of potential distortion, especially if you're getting them in prescription. Because like I said, this is a six base lens, so it's a bit flatter. Uh, it's kind of a double-edged sword, you know, so you don't get the same field of view peripherally as you would in a more wrapped design. Uh, but especially if you're prescription, that's actually a good thing because then, like I said, you're not getting as much of that potential distortion in the outermost edges of the lens. Really solid frame. It does have a bit more of a flat temple design. So again, helmet compatibility, hat compatibility, very good, comfortable all day long. A very lightweight option. It is a nylon material, so very durable and very flexible, just like all of these. And uh, without the spring hinge, you do have that flexibility, uh, much more so at the tip of the temple as you do more in the middle of the temple. And so again, it's gonna help grip Kind of more of a hug rather than a squeeze is what you're going to get out of this to keep it on the face. With an SFW of 136, pretty good medium to large fit. Next up, the Tailwind. Now we're getting into some of the more kind of aggressively sporty designs here. You do have a semi-rimless design with this. It is uh, immediately when you're holding it, you notice how lightweight it is. And all of these are lightweight, but something about the Tailwind really stands out to me and how lightweight it is. And it has a lot of great sport features. Remember what I was talking about, that nose bridge? This does have that same saddle, kind of floating nose bridge design, but it isn't quite as soft of a material. So it's not as soft of a rubber. So you, if you know that you have a tough time with bridge fit, which isn't terribly common, uh, but if you know that you do have an issue with that, then maybe be a little extra careful with uh, picking this frame, meaning just try it on first. Uh, but still a good bridge design because it is great for sport application in that it allows a lot more circulation, it allows a lot more airflow, and it does grip really well, and it can be very comfortable if you have the right bridge for it. The temple design is a bit unique in this guy. There's tons of venting, and that probably is why it's so lightweight, uh, because there's less material. It is a you know, not as thick of a temple, but there is venting more toward the front of the temple and toward the back. And the reason for that is that it helps to prevent moisture accumulation. Essentially, it helps to have an area for that airflow to come in and to go out, which means that they can grip better and, you know, in the front of the temple, less fogging. And when we're talking about fogging, it should be noted the lens design, as you can see, there's kind of a gap uh, it's a very small contact point, actually, in the lens to the frame where the frame is holding the lenses. And the reason for that is increased circulation. It allows more airflow, which means less fogging. Again, really good sport features in this frame. The semi-rimless design means that it is interchangeable and you can get multiple lenses for, say, different sports or different light conditions and just have to have the one chassis. It is RXable. Again, it is a more wrapped design, and so it means that it can be a little more limited. We have opticians to help you with that, so don't worry about it. We have an SFW on this guy of 130. 
which is gonna land it in the small to medium fit category. Next up, we have the ever popular, ever reliable Show X2. This frame has been honestly fantastic. It's been around for quite a while. It has been a go-to of mine for a long time as well because it's also RXable. All of these are RXable. I probably already mentioned that, but I'll, I'll keep talking about it because you, you can't stop me. I'm on this side of the camera. <laughs> It is another more sport oriented frame. It is a little more aggressive, but that means it's going to come with all of those sport features that you would expect out of a frame like this. So great for all of the more active sports, sports you need a helmet to do uh, or it's recommended for anyway. Tons of grip, good helmet compatibility, interchangeable because of that semi rimless design. Like I said, are Xable, so you can get multiple lenses for different conditions different sports, really solid frame here. It has an adjustable nose pad, so that's something to note. And I love when I see that because it just helps for a more versatile fit, more customized fit on your bridge. And it is a rubber nose pad. It does have rubber grip on the temples, uh, not so adjustable. This maybe isn't their most lightweight frame in the world, but still in the world of frames, pretty darn lightweight, uh, but a great design. You have a wrap, lens that's going to give you everything that you would expect out of a wrap frame which is great coverage great protection great visibility a really solid frame here from nike and available in prescription <laughs> i think that's the third or fourth time i've said that about this frame with an sfw of 136 lands at a pretty solid medium to large fit very versatilely fitting and if you're liking the looks of this if you stay tuned there's actually going to be an x3 coming out in 2021 and I'm very excited about it because like I said this has been old faithful for me so I can't wait to see what comes next so stay tuned and last but not least we have the premiere this is a really solid kind of looks like a lifestyle frame but honestly is more what I would call a hybrid design because it is more of the flat lens aesthetic but it has more of those active based features so you have grip in the nose you have grip in the temple you have a very lightweight profile you have very flexible temples uh, and fantastic lenses whether you get them in prescription or non-prescription oh by the way you can get this in prescription <laughs> i won't stop talking about it and it is a six base design so a wide range of prescriptions this is available in and yeah just a, a great frame honestly it does have more of the flat aesthetics but it does actually have a little more wrap than you might expect. Given the lens being a six base, it's still in the frame design, gives you a little more coverage than you would get from your typical very flat lens. With an SFW of 138, this is a pretty solid large fit. Hey there, if you're liking this content or if you want a quick list of, let's say, the top Nike frames, uh, well, we got videos, we have blogs dedicated to the best men's, women's, prescription, Nike sunglasses on the market. We'll put links in the description below so you can check those out and also subscribe for more like this. That wraps up what you need to know about the top men's Nike sunglasses. Hopefully now after I've gone over the ins and outs and kind of what to expect out of these frames, you have a better idea as to whether or not it is right for you. By the way, did I mention that they're available in prescription? Uh, because they all are totally. And hey, if you decide to order from SporterX, by the way, thanks to our See Better guarantee, you're never stuck with something that doesn't work for you or that you just don't like. And you can take as long as 45 days with them to figure that out. Just get back to us, we'll take care of you no matter what that means on our end. And like I mentioned a hundred times, we have opticians who would love to help you. They're just eagerly awaiting to help you get it right the first time. So reach out to us. Thank you so much. I hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like. You can find relevant videos over here. We do have great content on all of our social media outlets, and I would encourage you to check us out there as well at SportRx.